Jen St. Dennis joins us now from Business in Vancouver. Good morning, Jen. Good morning. BlackBerry is releasing a, a new phone. It's a bit of a throwback. Yeah, that's right. They're looking a little bit back to the past for inspiration for their newest device. So BlackBerry Classic will launch on Wednesday. Um, John Chen, the CEO of BlackBerry, said he got this idea of just from talking to customers, getting feedback, as then they said that they really loved the way the phone used to be with its uh, keypad and its trackpad to navigate around. Now, this phone will have a bigger display, uh, sort of a modern display, and also have uh, more apps. So hopefully this will be a successful product launch for them. This follows the release of the Passport, which is a, which is a phablet type phone which is a really a larger phone that the sales of that actually didn't do too badly that was they they uh, exceeded expectations although in November they did slash prices and they had this offer to trade in the iPhone uh, to get credit towards getting a passport so people couldn't really decide whether that was a really desperate or whether that was just a good marketing move uh, but we'll all find out more about the company's financial health um, on Friday and that's when the company will release its third quarter results Sophie I do miss my Blackberry sometimes. I, can't, I think I a lot of people did, so fast. we'll have to see. They're, they're actually sold out of pre-orders, so that's a good initial sign. So we'll have to see how it does. When, it's, when did you say they're releasing it? On Wednesday. On Wednesday. They yeah. do it on Thursday for Throwback Thursday. <laughs> that, would be, that would have been awesome. Would have been a marketing thing. And then people could have taken pictures of their Blackberry. Exactly. Oh, how would that have worked? Anyways. But. Exactly. <laughs> they need to reconsider this. We'll do their marketing for them. Okay. Thank you good. very much, Jen. You can All get right. more business news online at BIV.com.